Hey, what is up YouTube? It's an evil unicorn here, and uh, I'm doing my first video with my new phone. Uh, I got an HTC Vivid. It's a phenomenal phone. It's Anybody thinking about upgrading, don't go for the Skyrocket. Go for the uh, HTC Vivid, because um, the only thing that difference specs-wise is... I think maybe the user... The user memory, they both have a 16 gig raw storage, and I think the Skyrocket gets 13, and this gets 12, and then the processing speed is at like 2872 on the Skyrocket, and this is at 2261. They both run basically everything the same, so the only difference is price. And I think the camera, the cameras are the same, but I just like HTC better. Okay, back to what we're here for. Um, the video qualities will now start to suck less. They will be a lot better. But uh, what we're doing today is we're going over my deck for my pod. My pod uh, deck. Um, it is not complete. It's not all here because uh, I am yet to go purchase some hinterland harbors and some glacial fortress. I think is what it's called. It's the white blue from uh, M12. I think um, you run a whole bunch of white, blue, and green. You don't need a whole bunch of blue with the one that I'm running, but uh, there's some stuff I'm gonna put in there. But uh, I think pod. It's essential to a pod deck. Uh, a lot of people that I see run Mimic Vats. I, I, I'm thinking about it, but as of right now, it is not on the list. Right now. Three birds. I don't have four because I don't own four. I only own three. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, I run four Pilgrims. And then one Doom Traveler. Next, I run two of these guys, Leonin Relic Warder, it's a pretty good card, um, I'm thinking about swapping one of these guys and one of my Perilous Mirrors, because I run three Perilous Mirrors, and uh, putting in uh, two uh, Superior Mirrors, or Mirror Superiors, it's, and what they do is they're uh, two colorless for a 5-6, but you have to uh, to cast them from your hand. You have to you have to use mana created from mirrors. So uh, you can pot into that, and you're okay. So you can third turn have a five six. I think that's an okay. But uh, these guys are really good. Uh, when they die, they deal 2 damage to target creature or player, so you're going to be potting out a whole bunch, and these guys probably don't stick around a whole bunch, so, hey. Um, the last of the 2 drops, I know I'm jumping around a whole bunch, I think it's because I'm tired, but, uh, I might be doing drugs, too. Wait, no, no, I'm not doing drugs, that's bad. Kids, don't do drugs, drugs are bad for you. Um, but the next thing is, uh, Viridian Emissary. Um, in a pod deck like this, this is a great card. You're going to be potting out, throwing them away, and then once you throw it away, you get to go search for a basic land, so it's always good. Um, Blade Splicer, I'm probably going to throw another one of these in my, uh, sideboard. It, it's kind of a given. You pot into it, get your 3-3 golem, pot out for a 4. Uh, depending on circumstances, uh, most times I'm probably going to go for a hero blade hold, but uh, this is what's next on the 3 drops. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, I should run 2 or 3, but I only have 1 at the moment, so uh, I am only running 1. But uh, if you're running a pod deck, you should run Phyrexian Metamorph, because it's fucking amazing. And they run... Two Fiend Hunters, because Fiend Hunters are fucking amazing. Uh, 
And these next two, uh, they're uh, one of the reasons I will play blue in here. Uh, Nerek and Vizimancers. They're, they're, they're good cards. Uh, I think I need more blue stuff, and I need to uh, check about what I'm playing for blue. Because uh, this is a good card. It's unblockable. It's a 2-1 for 3. And then it makes a card unblockable the turn it comes into play. So... I, I think it's a good card. There's probably better cards, but uh, for the time being, I'm using it and testing it. And uh, here's my hero, Blade Hold. It's a given. Everybody knows. Uh, I'll set this next card aside for a second. Um, two Woodland Sleuths. Uh, it's out of Innistrad. Uh, ooh, hold on. I'm trying to focus, but it's not going to. That's weird. It's not focusing. Okay. Well, basically, it's got Morbid, and uh, once you pot out something, and it comes into play, uh, its Morbid effect comes into ability, and you just send something at random from your graveyard back into play. Okay, okay. And now we're going to get to the card that I set aside, because I'm going to pull out my Vincer and just show you that I play Vincer. Vincer is a good card, and especially with this card. Stonehorn Dignitary, because of plus two. Plus two, you exile a creature, and then it comes back into play at the end of your end step. Yeah. That effect just keeps recycling and recycling and recycling. Over and over and over and over. Uh, if you're just sitting there trying to make your opponent get mad at you and uh, have to uh, skip their attack step, and you're just sitting there ramping yourself up, Sorry, I'm trying to situate. Uh, but you're sitting there ramping yourself up, building up your uh, big ol' army of creatures and your mighty, mighty creatures. That's a great way to do it. I know I've been talking a whole bunch. Uh, I hope you guys don't quit out on me because uh, it's a really nice deck and uh, I, I just need to get to the point on these things. These next are the five drops. They're just the big beaters. Um, Archon of Justice flying. When it dies, exile target permanent. This right here, uh, this is to recycle some of your artifact stuff. It's probably going to get switched out for something. But uh, Razor Hippogriff, uh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, once it comes into play, you can uh, return an artifact creature from your graveyard to your hand. You gain life equal to its converted mana cost. Um, this is another one that's really good for Ministrad. It's an uncommon uh, Hollowhenge Scavenger. More to effect, whenever Hollowhenge Scavenger comes into the battlefield, if a creature died this turn, you gain 5 life. You pot into it, you gain 5 life. Um, acidic Slimes, everybody that's running green, that... Uh, in uh, pods is usually using this card right here. Here's the battlefield. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land, and has death touch. It's a good card. And then the big card. Worm coil engine. Nom 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 nom. It's a given. It's, it's an understood card to be in there. Um, I don't think I have to explain it. But I'm going to because there's probably some newbies out there that are watching. Ooh, what's that card do? Well, basically, it's a 6-6 six, six with Death Touch and Life Link. And whenever it dies, you get two Worm Coil Engines that are 3-3s. Three, worm Coil Engine tokens that are 3-3s, three, but one has Life Link and one has Death Touch. So it basically splits in half. And it... Divides up its attack into two creatures and then splits Death Touch on one and Lifelink on the other. So, yeah. That's about all I've got for this time. Um, next time, I'm probably not going to talk as much. Hopefully, uh, my videos will become shorter and I won't talk as much. <laughs> uh, if you got any questions, just post comments. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out anything else I need to say. Uh, I'm probably going to do some more videos. Uh, I got my Olivia finally. I'm happy. My vampire deck is now finished, basically. Now I need my Stormkirks. 
So, um, thanks for watching as always, guys, and it's been Eva Unicorn, and, uh, I'll talk to you all later.